Okay, what I have here is my little uh, prototype for a, a small personal 12 volt powered air conditioner, compressor driven. And what it is, it's a power bank, a great big, uh, not a power bank, a power station, a big uh, 2000 watt opus, and then a little um, Beaver uh, freezer, 12 volt freezer. Now these are the two products right here. Uh, this is with a, I finally broke down and bought a big one of these things so I could do the experiments I wanted to do. It's a Mega One uh, Opus 2000 watts. It's uh, 110, it's 12 volt, and then USB. And um, this uh, little freezer is 12 volt, it's supposed to draw 45 watts. Uh, what I've got here is I've got the, the little freezer running on 12 volts. And you can see right there, it's showing 40 watts, including the fan. That's the amount of power left in the power station. Uh, that's the number of hours. There's the USB, nothing plugged in here. And um, what I've got is I've got the uh, input coming in here. What little I can get through the window. And uh, this is a 200 watt panel just placed to the window. Now if I had that up against the window I'd probably get more but uh, if 40 watt consumption 200 watt panel that guy should win the battle right there if it was in the sun to make this run all day long and uh, cool us down some. Now let me turn this off and I'll show you what's going on. It's very simple. It's like the ice chest cooler only without the ice. And all it is is a um, basically an ice chest, but without the uh, without the ice. The ice is, is formed with the freezer. And so um, this is the uh, heat transfer. This piece of tin foil. Now, as this runs, you're going to get the condensation water in the bottom of this. You see the frost build up on this, and uh, like I say, the idea was to uh, get a low amperage, 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator, and then turn it in to an air conditioning unit. Now, everybody's going to say, well, "What about the heat? Heat comes out back here. You would have to duct this heat out somehow, some sort of an enclosure with a ducting." either to another room or outside to really make this a true air conditioner. But what I found out was if you sit in that chair and you have that thing blasting at you, it cools you down and it also dries out the, the uh, temperature of the air. So um, like I say, this uh, having a true compressor driven AC that's drying that much out of a power station seems to make sense. So anyway, this is my um, first attempt here at trying to make a um, solar-powered personal air conditioning unit. And these were the two units that I used to try to do this um, prototype. Thanks for watching.